internet world, it's Motivational Monday. Bit of a higher voice there, just felt like doing that. How are we all? I hope we're all great, gorgeous and good. I'm okay. I'm very happy at the moment. I'm having a rather nice time. Things are going great in Susie world. Yeah, things are going quite nicely. Hmm, all things are going chipper. But, you know, I'll keep you posted. Early days, yes, and all that, but uh, yeah, all very lovely. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to the subject of today's little waffleette. So this was prompted by a post that popped up on my memories yesterday. And it was about when, um, you know, when you've been knocked down, when you've been trampled, when you've been put down, when you've failed or when you've done something bad, don't get bitter rise above it rise above it all instead of seeking revenge or you know becoming embittered by what's happened to you rising above it and succeeding and becoming so successful in what in yourself that you virtually forget about what the the bad thing was or the bad person was and that proper struck a chord with me because that's the position I'm at, I'm at now. That's the, the way forward that I'm going. Because, you know, previously, pe when people did me, did me bad, did me down, or situations ground me down, I would wallow in it. I would dwell on it. I would prove them right, in a way, by carrying on my failure, by carrying on doing the bad thing. You know, and... Oh, the only person, again, it's a bit of similar thing, the only person I was hurting was myself. But I was also, you know, the, the naysayers and the, the ones that were wanting me to, to fail were laughing up the sleeve, weren't they, at me? Because I was doing what they, you know, I proved them right. I proved them right. They were like, oh, look at her, yeah, you know, we said she were going to fail. Look at the state of that, right? So what I do now... And it's I want to succeed, but the reason I want to, I want to succeed for myself, and I think that's been the big shift in my head. I'm doing it. I am doing it for my kids. I'm doing it for my family. You know, but they are secondary to me. I have I've finally got to the point where I've put myself first, and it takes some doing when you're not a selfish person. When you're the kind of person who, throughout your life, forever has always put everybody else first. It takes some doing to actually sit back and go, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this because I want to be better. I want to be happy. That was That's my main goal in life. I'm not bothered about whether I'm rich, whether I've got a successful career, whatever. As long as I'm happy, then I know if I'm happy, the people who matter around me are going to be happy, aren't they? They're all going to be happy. So it's all good. You know, it's like a lovely ripple effect, like the best kind of ripple effect. Instead of it being a ripple effect from me being an absolute bell end at times, doing stupid, stupid things, and the ripple effect was like a flipping nuclear explosion. It was, you know, it was a nuclear blast. It wasn't a lovely, gentle ripple effect on a pond. It was boom, you know. Let's just destroy everything around yourself, Susan. So it's that, it's about rising up. I want you to rise up. I want you to be so bright that you fucking blind them. I know there's a bit of swearing in today, but that's what I want you to do. I want you to blind the naysayers, the ones that want to hold you down. Because you'll find as well, when you look, when I've looked at the people who have done me done me down and who have wanted me to you know that, that have constantly chipped away at me chipped away at me when I've tried to be struggling back up they've yeah but you know you're just going to go back to that aren't you you're just going to do this well uh, you know you're just this you're just that they're the kind of people that can't look themselves in the mirror because they don't like what they see and so what they need to do to justify themselves and to make themselves feel better is they need to keep you down because they know, really, deep down, that you're 10 times better than them, 10 million times better than them, actually. And they don't like that. So what they need to do and what they want to do is they want to keep you down because it makes them feel better. And it makes them feel better about their horrible situation and maybe their horrible life if your life's even worse. Because they think, yeah, my life might be rubbish, but look at the state of that, you know what I mean? 
So they can justify the nasty behaviour and their nasty comments and, and the, the nasty situation they're keeping you in because, you know, it makes them feel better about themselves. Or there are the people that are just naturally complete bastards on there. <laughs> you know what I mean? There really are some people in this world that you think, how on earth do you get through a day? But they do. <laughs> they rock on. And quite often, this, they, you know, they do walk in life, don't you? You look at them and you think life just is not fair. But that's just it as well. That's another thing you've got to accept is that life sometimes is just not fair. It really isn't. But it's okay, you know. It, don't let it grind you. Don't let it get to you. Make yourself happy. Make your situation as happy and as good as you possibly can. Don't worry about what other people are doing or saying or thinking or whatever. And don't be going through life trying to prove to them. Prove it to yourself first. Prove it to yourself first and foremost. Other people will come and go. They really will. I know some people can't go, go because they might be your family or something. So you're kind of intrinsically linked to them, aren't they? But even your family, you can, you know, if they're that bad, you can quite happily just like, no, no I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I need you to do is rise above it. Don't sink to their level by becoming nasty and embittered and because that's what they are. And sometimes you've got to look at them and feel a bit sorry for them in a way, I think. Because if you think that the only way that they can get joy in life is by making somebody else miserable, it, you know, you think, Christ almighty, what a flipping crappy life that is. It's awful. You know, you don't need to be like that. I'm not saying, like, I'm not the kind of person, I'm, you know, I don't, fart rainbows and things like that and spew glitter it's like i do have down days and bad days as you all know but i tend to kind of you know keep as chipper an outlook as i possibly can because i want to project that because i think one of my friends rob barrow he says you know good people bring out the good in people and they do positivity breeds positivity doesn't it you know if you can be positive you're going to attract positivity not always. You're always going to come across some people who are little rain clouds and they will always be like that. You know, but um, just try and avoid them. <laughs> try and avoid them. You don't need that shit in your life. So there you go. So that's today's little note is rise above it, my crazy diamonds. Rise. Be like a phoenix rising out of the ashes of your mistakes because we all make mistakes, don't we? We all cock up. I... I've done it stupendously at times, but I've risen up, I've got up, I've brushed myself down, I've thought, right, let's learn from that, sometimes I've learned quicker than other times, other times it's taken me a good few times more of a mistake before I realised, don't do that again, don't do that again, Susan, um, and now I'm in a really good position, and in a really happy place, and that's great, and I love it, and I just want to pass on some of that lovely positivity to you, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh there we go you've got some of it now so there you go that's it for today i'm going to keep it under 10 minutes because like i said they seem to like it under 10 minutes they seem to upload better and i'm getting near it now um but yeah i hope you're all great gorgeous and good uh it's actually stopped raining which is nice it's a decent day now so get out there do something fun or if you can't do something fun if you're stuck at work or whatever then you know just make up a fun story in your head or send your mate some funny memes or something on on, on the internet. Do something like that. Do something a bit silly. All right then, my beauties. So yeah, so that's what we're doing this week is we're rising up. We're rising up and sinking them down. That's what we're doing. Rising up and sinking them down, my crazy diamonds. All right, my beauties. So you carry on being great and you're and good. I will see you similar time next week. Loves you all. Means it. And peace out, muddy funkers.